Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today we're going to be watching the 6th episode of Hidemari Sketch Season 3. Now last episode everyone kind of got to be to be measured. Some people are happier than others with their results, right? Some people want to be taller, some people want to weigh less, you know, but uh, really those kind of measurements are always just a, a test of how you've been the, the, for the year, right? I mean some things you have more control over than others, like height you can't do much about, but weight you can and some some people certainly tried when it comes to mind in particular, but uh, yeah, we're here for episode six. So let's jump on in and see what it's all about. As always, if you enjoy the video, please click the like button and support me on Patreon for early access and access to the picture in picture version. So let us begin in three, two, one, play. Bijutsu, okay, art, yeah, the art prep room. <laughs> Our art prep girl. Yoshinoya sensei. Well, yeah, he likes to come here too, doesn't he? Love is pure. Okay. <laughs> what exactly is she reading? <laughs> How dare you interrupt her in her special alone time? <laughs> she has said that. I do remember that. <laughs> oh, maybe. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Reading pure romance. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Chikai Masu. Of course he is. Isn't he always? <laughs> she is too cute to be an adult. <laughs> like, you know how there's kind of a, a meme of, you know, women referring themselves as eternally 17? Or whatever. But uh, I think that really does apply to her. Oh yeah, last episode we also made a new friend. That was, that was fun. Went to go get her phone. You know, Nazana, she, in the end, she did stay on her feet in that shot, so could have been worse. But who was sleep talking, though? That's my question. April 26th? Mia? Okay, Mia, probably some more people too. Mia was a voice that I really heard. But, well, you know, she's, she's not alone. Even though some people are trying to sleep. It's like, yo, Yasuna. Na Nazuna. Did I say Yasuna? <laughs> of course, you're more than welcome to join us. I love me. I want that shirt. <laughs> yeah, Yuno was quite light, so that's not hard to do. <laughs> really good shot of Yuno there for the, well, not really a mid card, but, you know, early card. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you always? Well, <laughs> did something good happen? Did the principal not yell at you? <laughs> it's just on the desk. Looking for a spring? You know, if I had her as my teacher, I would probably just have grown up to be a happier person in general. But, 
<laughs> She's a strip of spring girl. The shady trees. Do you mean, do you mean like, like literally like just hanging out in the shade? You know? What you doing with your flip phone, Sensei? Uh, <laughs> right, we had a bit of a mood shift here. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I guess that's what that was, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't stop her from going on the desk, though. <laughs> she definitely wears her emotions on her sleeve. Oh, that... Yeah, I was gonna say something, uh, um, <clears throat> but yeah, we we we, uh, we 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 really jumped the fall there. Uh, just damn that picture. <clears throat> it's truly in the morning to stimulate me like that, sensor. Uh, back to the phone. <laughs> I really miss having a flip phone. <laughs> See my phone is just a just a rectangle. Doesn't doesn't flip at all. Just a you know, just a rectangle. <laughs> I'm sure yours is nice too. Lofty Sky and the Shadow Tree, whatever the title was. <laughs> wow, they really have been spoil spoiling us with these nice pictures. Well, I don't know why, but I, I appreciate it. <laughs> where did you, where did you come from? I guess she said she would check on us, but didn't even hear her coming. She usually squeaks. <laughs> yeah, pretty clearly Sensei has a lot going on. Hey, not so bad. She does exist. <laughs> put it, put down the phone, Yoshinoe. It's not. I think you're. I think you have a problem. Uh. Yeah, they just keep throwing the pictures at us left and right. I wonder why. I don't. I don't think they usually do this, do they? At least not this much. It's a very real looking food. So does she just have like someone she's talking to, or Mia's just enjoying her curry? Don't bother me while I'm eating. Well, you would think, but I, I just, I want to know the reason. <laughs> Our detective over here. I didn't, I didn't notice that much, yeah. <laughs> As an author. I mean, that's, yeah, that's that is kind of what I was thinking too, but... <laughs> I don't want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> but man, that's a mess listening. <laughs> I didn't try to listen, okay? Uh, wow, okay, thank you for that. Just just keep going, show. Keep giving it to me. That may be thumbnail right there. I mean, there's not really much we could do. I mean, we could, I don't know, come for her if it doesn't go well, but. But that's, yeah, the big question. I've been trying to think who it could be myself. <laughs> well, you could. Didn't Mia have an I love myself shirt earlier? Something like that. I love me. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think we really know anyone on the show that would be a good candidate for that.
We, we why why did we tell him that? Do you not value Sensei's life? <laughs> He's so mean to her. Is she offering me some? Cause I'll I'll take some, please. Indirect Kisu. <laughs> <laughs> I love this woman. <laughs> I, I beg to differ. So uh, yeah, it looks like she's just right reading a novel or something, which is kind of what I, kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> Shoot you. <laughs> oh no. This is our teacher, ladies and gentlemen. You can tell because of the squeaking. I mean, it does matter. <laughs> She's literal perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, just, I want to rewatch that entire little bit there. That was all so good. <laughs> if Yoshi Noe had a reaction channel, I would watch the shit out of that. I don't care what she reacts to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, she's gonna jump. <laughs> Probably her phone, <laughs> I would assume. Hmm. <laughs> no hesitation there. Obviously, it's not what they think it is, you know. There's no jumping off gonna happen, but, like... If, if that ever did happen, man, it would just break me. Like, they, they wouldn't dare do that to me. But if they did, man, I would riot. <laughs> but, man, you know, I was so worried, though. <laughs> Are we gonna probably find out the truth now? Well, them, I already know pretty much, I think. Love is true. Literally the name of the story, I guess. <laughs> Keita shows it too. I don't think I would be able to really read a novel on my phone. Probably because of my terrible eyesight, but... <laughs> Doesn't even look at them while she waves. Uh, really cute hug there. Why are they giving us so many great pictures? It's not even the final episode or anything. <laughs> yeah, it is nice, isn't it? <laughs> I, I mean, nowadays, literally everyone has a phone. <laughs> but this show obviously is uh, a little bit on the old side. <laughs> I found love. True love. Yeah, that's the thing on novels. There's so much just like narration. Now. Now, Kuno, because that's the guy. Which I assumed, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's too young for love, I suppose. 
Yeah, especially because she looks she's like 10 years old. <laughs> Experienced in love. Yeah, very love-filled episode, clearly. <laughs> Are you in a hurry? <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose your slipper? <laughs> Be careful, you know. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's messed up, Mia. <laughs> you never tell her friends, though. <laughs> oh, that was in a carry in the box with a guy. Is that a, it's not a teacher, is it? I don't think so. <laughs> Who would put Nazuna in charge of boxes? <laughs> nice glasses there. Come on, throw it. <laughs> it's such a different world, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. Normal education from normal people. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to work on our self awareness, uh, Mia. Me, uh. Seka, seka, yeah, what? Yeah, that's the boy she's with before. I, I guess they're on day duty together or something. Doki, doki. But I, I'm not liking that amount of blushing, though. It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> it's in my skirt now. That's an interesting shot. <laughs> That's how rumors get started. I mean, she's very cute, so it wouldn't surprise me, but but we don't, we don't, no, we can't be doing that. She is too pure to be to be involved with boys. <laughs> Nori, I guess that's her new nickname. Okay, we're getting a shot of all of them with glasses. Okay, uh, sure, why not? Like, I'm not really a glasses person. I just, I know some people are, but. It's never been my thing. None of them better... They better not be trying to get her pregnant or anything. <laughs> now said I don't know. And Mia calls herself normal. Now in this room. I really should commit to memory which characters in which room because I, I really haven't. <laughs> My wide face. <laughs> You're being weird, Mia. <laughs> it's like, do you guys want to come in or something? I can get you tea. <laughs> Have you ever touched hands with a boy? <laughs> Is that really related? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't understand that last one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> wait, what? 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 Wait, what? Okay. We're doing, we're going down this path. 
Be a really cute girl, gets all the boys' attention, the less cute girls get butt hurt. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll beat up any girls that try to bully you. I mean, I could take on some high school girls, I think. <laughs> well, that's a really nice picture. Of course, they're both wearing glasses. I mean, I think... <laughs> <laughs> and she's really thought about this. But, like, I mean... <laughs> Are you gonna drop? Are you gonna sneeze? Don't sneeze! Put it, put it down before you sneeze. You're gonna make a mess. She sneezed out who she meets to. <laughs> I mean, it was never a mystery to me. She's the kind of girl that you see and you just want to help, you want to protect, you want to hug. You want to impregnate. You know, in that order. I can, does she, does it, can she even get angry? Oh yeah, that, I actually was thinking she might get angry at that. But no, no, she, she, no. She, she's a good girl. <laughs> Our Gen Ed girl. <laughs> See, this is why I shipped them. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Just kiss you two. Credits. Uh, no, we got a little bit left. Just, just a little bit. Yoshinoya, how's the story going? <laughs> Did she change hairstyle? She better have cut it. Cause I'll, I'll riot. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look like she cut it. it. Looks like she just tied it up. But <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I mean, I like her old hairstyle better. You know, I always like the long flowing hair on an anime girl. It, lo it looks fine though for, for a short segment. <laughs> it's almost 10.30. <laughs> Sakura petals just below change the scenery. Sakura, Sakura, Saku. My new friends. Yako no Suke. Kabuki. Nazuna Noni. <laughs> I definitely will. Okay, that was the sixth episode of the third season of Hidamari Sketch. Another really fun, enjoyable episode here. 
Like, uh, see, so gotta go back to the beginning to remind myself where we started, but yeah, love is pure. You know, uh, koi wa magokuro. That's not the name of the story we saw later, right? That was, uh, love is true, I think it was something like that. Yeah, definitely a different title, but we gotta love the poses she has in the room and stuff like that. <laughs> and Mashiko, yeah, like, her yelling at Mashiko to, like, knock and all that. That That's always fun, but, <laughs> you know, you heard telling him not to open it up and all that, just... So good. Although it was the it was the the nurse's office segment where she tells him to knock. That was definitely the the best Mashiko related segment, for sure. Like I really just want to rewatch that again later. But but uh, try, try, try 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 to go in order as as I talk about the episode because we had our morning exercise. We do you know that's been kind of a been kind of a thing. We got to see Nazuna and Yuno you know back to back smiling very. Very happy, cheerful. Uh, we got to see, you know, Yoshinoya Sensei come in in a wonderful mood, just beaming that 100% Genki, happy, bubbly energy <laughs> sitting on her desk and all that. Just maximum level of happiness, right? But then we had some melancholy <laughs> uh, later. But um, also a very nice, uh, I'm not even sure you call it, like just like a mid card. We had a lot of mid cards, but. We had one of the sensei from behind where she, you know, look like look looks back to see the the audience see us, you know, so we can see her face and her butt at the same time. So just a really good shot. Just, you know, just uh yeah. I can't go into too much detail about everything I I think about that shot, but but it was, it was a good shot. We'll just we'll leave it at that. But like I said, there was tons of really good mid card kind of things throughout the episode. A lot of great ones. You know, he had like a nice one of like, uh, I think they're supposed to be wearing swimsuits. It's at 6 minutes and 27 seconds, Yuno and Mi Miyako, you know, because like, it looks like Yuno's kind of like sitting on Miyako's lap while giving a peace sign, both happy, smiling, blushing. Like, I, I assume it's supposed to be some kind of, um, it's hard to tell though, because there's something behind them that almost looks like a leg with like a red fishnet stocking sort of <laughs> around it. Like, I, I'm, I'm in a little trouble figuring out the full context of that image, but... It's a nice one, you know, you can really feel the friendship, uh, you know, between the two of them throughout that shot, how much they love each other, but, but a little bit of Natsume, not a whole lot, but, you know, she was relevant, relevant in, in the scene, you know, she was eavesdropping and whatnot, but, but yeah, people definitely wondering what exactly is up with Yoshinoya Sensei, because she seems a little bit, uh, a little bit odd, they end up thinking she's in love or something, I think Sai had a lot to do with that, but, uh, Oh yeah, also the mid card where Natsume is feeding some yakisoba pan to Saya. You know, you know the uh, the Yoshinoya butt shot is hard to beat, but that 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 might be. I'm just gonna shot it now while I think about it. But yeah, that might be the best mid card we got in the episode. It's just so good. You know, Natsume looks so happy doing it. She even has a hand underneath to make sure if any drops, she can keep it in her hand and either put it in Saya's mouth or put it in her own mouth. Right. Just a lot, a lot of a uh, lot of thought went into this. Right? So, it's a shame we didn't get that in the episode. We even have, like, purple hearts and stuff in the background. But, <laughs> but that was, that was quite nice. And yeah, this was a nurse's office segment. We have Mashiko watching. I was going to watch this entire scene again on my end. <laughs> yeah, I always sounds in a knock as she just, like, bounces left and right. <laughs> that doesn't matter. As the blush and everything intensifies, the, the sideways triangle eyes eventually running away. Yeah, that may have been my favorite favorite bit of the whole episode. I think it might be. <laughs> just the just voice she does when she gets like that. She's just... Like, I don't want to feel like a broken record, so I don't say it as often as I think it. But just... Yoshinoi is an insanely fun, likable, cute, adorable, energetic, lovable character. I just... I still can't believe it. Like, I'm third season, or halfway to the third season, and my favorite character in the show is still the teacher. That, like, never happens in any kind of ensemble cast, cute girls doing cute things, lots of life show. That's, like, never the case for me. But there have been teachers that I, you know, like, like Kaon's teacher, Sawa-chan sensei, I liked her, right? You know, there's plenty of teachers that I like, but, like, she she is my favorite character in this show, and I still can't, can't believe it. She just, she's just that good. You know, the fact that a voice actress is dead, just, you know, I've, I've, I've always been bothered by that. But ever since I realized, ever since, you know, this character has been introduced to me, it's like added an extra like extra level of sadness to that fact, if that makes sense. Because I think before now, the voice actress, I, uh, the, the character I mostly associated that voice actress was with 
man, I cannot sentence today, was a Kuko from uh, uh, The Crawling Chaos. I can't remember the name of the show. But, uh, but yeah, her name is, her name is Kuko, the character I'm thinking of. What's the name of the show? Yeah, ha 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 Hayore and yaruko san Yeah. Basically that. That as well as uh, Sapphire from from Fate, Clyde, Elia. That those two are the kind of the main things I associated with. But I have seen a lot of other things like um, uh, that Dirty Jokes show. What was it called? Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. But yeah, I definitely know her from a, few th from a few things. But this is just like a new show for me to be introduced to her, right? After she's already gone and it just... There's a level of sadness to it because of that, but I am glad is even though she has gone to get you know get her get more of her if that makes sense. But it's getting a little bit too depressing. I'm, I'm going to change the subject now. But um, but yeah, eventually they figured out the truth after being a little bit worried she was going to jump off the jump, jump off the roof. They they realized she was just reading the story, <laughs> you know, having a good time with that. And we got another great you know mid card shot between Yuno and Miyako, just kind of like hugging each with one eye closed, smiling, blushing like. You know, it's, it's almost like the show wants me to ship them as well. I mean, I kind of do, but it's like very much like in a back of my mind sort of thing. It, not like how I feel about like Hiro and Saya or uh, Nori and Nori and uh, not Nazuna, right? Like those ones, I think about it a lot, you know, almost every time they are, you know, really friendly with each other. Whereas, you know, and in, in, you know, and Mia, it's more like uh, they just have more of a friendship a vibe to them, if that makes sense, right? Like, I, I still ship them the theoretically, you know. Like, if they started kissing or whatever, I'd be, I'd be, you know, I'd be glad. I'd be all for it. But it's not something I think about very much, if that, if that makes sense at all to you. But, whereas Hiro and Sai especially, like, I always think about that every time they're together. So, it is kind of funny how different it is. I think it's probably just because Yuno and Mia just aren't really, like, romance kind of characters. Like, I just don't view them in that context, really. They're just so silly and... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the best way to describe it, but just I don't really see see them, see them through that lens. Really, it's just all I'm trying to say. But, but I'm not against it. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Anyway, moving on again. Uh, Nazuna became a focus kind of in the last third, fourth ish of the episode, seeing how popular she is with the boys, which again did not surprise me one little bit because she is very cute. She is she's just the most moe character in the show. Like quite. Quite easily, right? I think Yuno to, was was until she showed up, but yeah, she just kind of took over those reins, right? So, and she's definitely yeah that kind of cute that's going to attract a lot of boys to her, and she she definitely does. But yeah, the, the downside of that is that girls that are less attractive are gonna are gonna be jealous, are gonna be butthurt, and it's always a shame when, she, when you have to deal with that sort of thing, right? Because she's done nothing wrong, but the life is unfair, sadly. <laughs> But everyone comes over to her place to confront her, and she's just so taken aback, not sure what's going on. <laughs> Especially some of the things that Mia said, but all these questions. But, yeah, we got a lot of blushing from Nazana, for sure. But there's some talk about carrots as well that confused me a little bit, but it is, it's all good. And like I said, a little bit of alone time between Nori and Nazana near the end, which I appreciated, but... But, uh, but yeah, good episode. I really enjoyed it. I mean, kind of like all the episodes, but this one had a lot of good sense in it, so it's it's better on that on that basis. But uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.